Good morning, students of class three. Children, I'm sure all of you are fit and fine. Students, please stay indoor and keep yourself safe from the deadly virus. Students, today I'm going to continue with lesson six of your Wordsworth English Reader book. Jack discovers a new land. So those of you who have got the new edition of Wordsworth English Reader book, please take out your books and turn to page number 51. Students, today, first of all, I'll be reading the lesson once again to you. Then I'll be revising the word meanings and then explaining the remaining lesson. So as I read, please listen to me carefully. Lesson 6, Jack discovers a new land, page number 51 of your Wordsworth English Reader book. Students, please listen to me carefully as I read this lesson. Lesson 6, Jack discovers a new land. When the beanstalk ended, Jack found himself in front of a great castle with a broad road leading straight up to the front gate. As he drew near the castle, he saw a huge lady standing at the door. Jack was scared at the sight of the lady, but he asked, Would you please, ma'am, give me some breakfast? I have had nothing to eat since yesterday. The giant's wife was very kind. She said, Very well, little man, come in. But you must be quick about it. If my husband, the giant, finds you here, he will eat you up, bones and all. Here is a cup of milk and some sandwiches. Suddenly, there was a loud knock at the front door, which seemed to shake even the thick walls of the castle. The giant's wife quickly lifted Jack up and popped him into an empty kettle. When her husband rode out, Fee, Fi, Fo, Fum. I smell the blood of a young man. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. It's a boy. I'm sure it is. He continued. Where is he? I'll have him for my breakfast. Nonsense, said his wife. You must be mistaken. It's the ox hide you smell. Thus the giant sat down and ate a greater part of the ox. When he had finished, he said, Why bring me my money bags? His wife brought him two bags of gold and the giant began to count his money. Jack watched in wonder at all that was happening. The giant then asked his wife to fetch his little hen, which laid golden eggs. The hen laid twenty golden eggs. After the giant had put the eggs into a basket, he called out, Wife, bring me the golden lyre. His wife brought the golden lyre and placed it on the table. Sing, said the giant. And the lyre at once began to sing the most beautiful songs that ever were heard. 
It sang so sweetly that the giant soon fell fast asleep. Seeing that the giant was fast asleep, Jack crept quietly out of the kettle and tiptoed to the table. He gathered the money bags and the little man. He put them into a large bag and just as he lifted the golden lyre, the hen called out, Master, Master, the giant woke up just in time to catch sight of Jack running out of the kitchen door with his money and hen. With a fearful roar, he screamed, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I spy a country bum. He is alive but will soon be dead. When I grind his bones to make my bread, he grabbed his club and dashed after Jack, who was already halfway down the beanstalk. The giant began to climb down too. But as soon as Jack saw him coming, he called out, Mother, bring me an egg. Jack had no sooner reached the ground. When he chopped the beanstalk, down came the giant with a terrible crash and that was the end of him. With the bags of goat and little hen, Jack and his mother helped the entire village. All the villagers blessed them and lived happily ever after. So students, this was the lesson which I have read. Now, first I'll revise the word meanings. The first word meaning is given on page number 51. And the word student is castle. Castle means palace. Castle, palace. Now please turn to page number 52. The word meanings given on page 52 are pot means put something inside. Beta, kisi bhi cheech ke andar, jab hum koi cheech rakhte hai, that is known as pot. Put something inside. Then, the next word is road. Road means shouted loudly. Chor se chillana. That is known as road. Road shouted loudly. Then, the next word is grind. Grind means crush into small pieces. Chote chote pieces mein crush kar dena, tor dena. Generally, mother uses the mixer to grind spices, to grind chutney. She puts the whole ingredients and when she turns the mixer on, what happens? The spices are grind into small pieces. So, grind means crush into small pieces. Then students, the next word is mistaken. Mistaken means to be wrong. Galat samajna. Mistaken to be wrong. Then the next word is ox hide. Ox hide is skin of an ox. Ox hide is skin of an ox. The giant used to eat non-vegetarian food. He used to eat animals, human beings, all creatures. So, he was eating ox hide. That was skin of the ox which had the meat of ox. Then, the word meanings given on page number 53 are wonder. Wonder means surprise. Beta, jisko dekke ekdam ab surprise ho jau. Ashcharya chakit ho jau. Jan, when he climbed the beanstalk, what happened? He had seen a huge castle. Then when he went inside, he saw different things with the giant had. So, he was in wonder looking at the things with the giant had. Then students, the next word is fetch. Fetch means to bring. Like here, fetch to bring. Then students, the next word is lyre. Lyre, a musical string 
instrument. What is lyre? A musical string instrument. You can also see the picture of lyre given on page 53. Jack, he is uh, holding that lyre and he is running. You can see lyre given on page number 53. So, that's a lyre. That instrument has got strings and when you pull those strings or you move your hand across the strings, it produces nice, beautiful, soft music. Then students, the next word is walked quietly. Walk quietly means walking without making any sound. Bina awaj ke walk karna so that nobody is aware that somebody is walking. Then the next word is tip-toed. Beta, to kya hota hai? Aapke jo pair ke panje hote hai, unke jo aage ki jo fingers hote hai, us portion ko ha toe bolte hai. Or toe pe chalna. Matlab pura paon jameen pe nahi rakna. Toe ke tip pe chalne ko hum kya bolte hai? Tip-toe. So tip-toe means walked very silently. Especially uh, when you don't want anyone to know that you are walking, you walk on your toes, tip of the toes, so that nobody comes to know, no sound is made. Then students, please turn to page number 54. The word meanings given on page number 54 are fearful. The first word of page 54 is fearful. Fearful means scary. Jisko dekke dar lage. The giant was fearful. Jack got scared looking at the giant. So, fearful means scary. Jisko dekke dar lage. That is known as fearful. Then, the next word is screamed. Screamed means shouted loudly. Chor se chillana. Roar meaning is also same. Shouted loudly. And scream meaning is also shouted loudly. There are two words in this lesson which have got the same meaning and they are Road also means shouted loudly Also means shouted loudly. So these are the two words which have got the same word meaning. You need to remember. Roar also means shouted loudly and screamed also means shouted loudly. So keep in mind there are two words which have got the same meaning. Roar, shouted loudly and screamed also means shouted loudly. Then students the next word, the 14th word is spy. And spy means see. Dekna. Hmm? Spy means see. Then the 15th word is club. And club means a heavy stick which is thick at one end. Beta, ek bhot bhari sa danda. Jo ek end, dande ke do end hote hai. It has got two ends. So at one end, it is very Thick. Bohat ek end pe wo thick ho. So that one can hit with the club. So the giant was carrying a club when he chased Jack. When Jack picked up his hand, lyre, everything in the bag. And then when Jack ran, the giant followed him carrying his club. So club is a stick, heavy stick, which is thick at one end. Beta, stick ke do ends hote hai. Or egg and stick ka jo thicko that is known as club. Then the next word is dashed. Dashed means run fast. Dashed means run fast. Bohat tezi se dhorne ko kya bolte beta? Dash. <coughs> then the next word is chopped. Chopped means cut into small pieces. Chopped means cut into Small pieces. Chote chote pieces mein cut karna. Usko kya bolte hai? Chop. 
what happens when your mother she prepares vegetables before preparing the vegetables what does she do before cooking the vegetables she chops them mummy sabji leke unko chote chote pieces mein kaatti hai na cook karne se pehle that is known as chop then students the next word is terrible terrible means horrible or very bad matlab bahut jis kharab ho ya bahut hi bura terrible ka beta meaning is not good that is very bad or horrible not a good experience so these were the word meanings but students there are two phrases also given in this lesson and the first phrase is given on at the bottom of page number 51 and the phrase is at the site of at the site of means on seeing someone kisi ko uh, dekhne ke baad jo feeling ho to at the site of on seeing someone and the second phrase is given at the bottom of page number 54 and that is to catch sight of to see someone or something kisi ko ya kisi cheez ko dekhna that is known as to catch sight of so students these were the word meanings and phrases now i'm going to explain the lesson two pages i already explained now once again i'll explain them in the short and then i'll explain the rest of the lesson so beta when the beat stock ended jack found himself in front of a great castle with a broad road leading straight up to the front gate jack beta first lesson 5 mein first part mein humne padha tha what did we read that jack he climbed the beat stock which had grown from the magical seeds which he got by exchanging his old cow days the farmer had given him those magical seeds in place of the cow and when he returned home his mother was very angry and out of anger she threw those seeds out of the window and that day he had to sleep hungry even his mother had to sleep hungry but what happened next day when he woke up what did he see he saw that Besides his bedroom window, there was a huge beanstalk, which was very high, leading somewhere in the sky. So, what did Jack decide? He decided to climb the beanstalk up and up, up and up, up and up, till his cottage looked a mere speck. Speck, mere speck, बहुत छोटा सा cottage देखने लगा. And when he reached the top of the beanstalk, what did he see? He saw. जहां पे बीन स्टॉक खत्म हो रहा था वॉट इट इज सी ही सो अ ग्रेट कैसल एक बड़ा सा पैलेस दिखा जाए को एंड देन वॉट इट इज सो देर वॉज अ ब्रॉड ब्रॉड मीन्स वाइड बहुत चौड़ी देर वॉज अ ब्रॉड ब्रॉड लीडिंग अप टू द फ्रंट गेट ऑफ द कैसल कैसल मीन्स पैलेस एंड एस ही ड्रू नियर द कैसल ही सो a huge lady standing at the door and when jack he went on the road he walked on on the road what did he saw he reached near the castle he saw a huge huge means very big in the picture we can see that the giant's wife is very huge compared to jack so that lady was very huge he saw that a huge lady was standing at the dog jack was scared at the sight of the lady but he asked would you please ma'am give me some breakfast initially jack was very scared but then he gathered courage himmat karke he asked would you please ma'am give me some breakfast hmm ma'am please give me some breakfast i have had nothing to eat since yesterday jack told that lady कि यस्टरडे व्हाट डू मीन बाय यस्टरडे जो दिन बीत गया व्हिच हैज ऑलरेडी पास वी ऑफन गेट कंफ्यूज बिटवीन यस्टरडे एंड टुमारो व्हेन द टीचर आस व्हाई वर यू एब्सेंट यस्टरडे आप तो उल्टा बोल देते हो टुमारो सो यस्टरडे मींस द डे व्हिच हैज ऑलरेडी पास एंड टुमारो मींस द डे व्हिच इज गोइंग टू कम यस्टरडे इज इन पास्ट टेंस एंड टुमारो इज इन फ्यूचर टेंस सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस सो जैक टोल्ड दैट लेडी 
that I have had nothing to eat since yesterday. He said कि मैंने कल से कुछ भी नहीं मुझे मैंने खाया है. So please give me some breakfast. The giant's wife was very kind. Giant's wife, oh she was huge, but then she was very kind. She said, very well, little man, come in, but you must be quick about it. If my husband, the giant, finds you here, he will eat you up, bones and all. Here is a cup of milk and some sandwiches. She said to Jack, that very man, I can give you something to eat. But then you have to hurry up, quick, jaldi se khana hoga. Hmm? Why? Because her husband, the giant, if he sees Jack in his castle, what will he do? He will catch hold of Jack and eat. Jack ko wo pakdega giant and pura ki pura kha jayega. Eat Jack up. His bones also, bones bhi kha jayega. Generally the people who eat non-veg, they eat the flesh and they discard the bones. Because generally people don't eat bones. But the giant, he would eat the bones also. So then she told that Jack, you must hurry up. You should, uh, I'll give you something to eat, but then you should hurry up. The, her husband should not see Jack. So she, what did she give Jack? She gave Jack a cup of milk and some sandwiches. Sandwiches that we all have to eat, isn't it? So she also gave Jack a cup of milk and some sandwiches to eat. Suddenly, there was a loud knock at the front door, which seemed to shake even the thick walls of the castle. When Jack was eating what the huge lady had given him, there was a knock, knock at the front door. Knock, you all understand when we knock. This is knocking. Darwaja Khatkatani ko, what do we call? Knock at the door. So, there was a knock at the door. At the front door of the castle. And the knock was so loud that it seemed that all the walls of the castle were shaking. Ki castle beta palace ki saari walls, diwale. Jo diwal hoti na, these are all walls. These are all walls. So the walls were shaking. That vibration was so loud. Hmm? Now what did the giant's wife do? The giant's wife quickly lifted Jack up and popped him into an empty cattle. Giant ki wife ne Jack ko uthaya aur ek empty cattle. Jo cattle jis mein hum tea ko uh, strain karke rakte us cattle ke andar pop kar diya. Dali and she closed the lid or top. Hmm? So that the giant could not trace where Jack was. Usne Jack ko ek cattle ke andar dala and lid close kar diya. When she heard that her husband was shouting loudly. What was her husband shouting? Fee, five, four, farm. That was the giant. What was he shouting? Fee, five, four, farm. I smell the blood of a young one. Be he alive or be he dead. I will grind his bones to make my bread. What did the giant say? The giant said, the giant said, Fee, fi, fo, fum. Giant ne, jo se bola, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a young man. Ki mujhe kisi young chote bachche ke blood ki smell a rahi hai. Be he alive or be he dead. Whether that young uh, child is alive. Alive matlab jinda. Who's got life. And dead means who's got no life. Hmm? He either is alive or dead. I will grind his bones to make my bread. I will grind his bones to make my bread. So that the giant could eat that bread which had which contain Jack's bone. It's a boy. I'm sure it is. 
the giant said that surely this man was of a young boy. And the giant continued, where is he? I will have him for my breakfast. कि वो जहां भी होगा मैं क्या करूंगा उसको अपने ब्रेकफास्ट में खाऊंगा नॉन सेंस सेज इज वाइफ यू मस्ट बी मिस्टेक इट्स द ऑफ साइड यू स्मेल आन जैन की वाइफ ने बोला नॉन सेंस जी मैन दट दस नो बडी इन द हाउस एंड इट वॉज द स्मेल ऑफ द ऑक्स हाइट विच Uh, he was smelling. He said that I smell the blood of a young boy. So, Jain's wife, ne Jack ko bachane ke liye, she explained that the smell which you are getting is not of a young boy. It's the smell of the ox hide. Thus, the Jain sat down and ate a greater part of the ox. The Jain, jo hai, he aaram se hi sat down and they started eating. the greater part of that ox high when he had finished he said and when he had finished eating that ox high what did he say wife bring me my money bags wife go and bring my money bags go and bring my money bags his wife brought him two bags of gold his wife went and then she brought him Two bags. कितने bags लाई बेटा? Two bags of gold. The giant began to count his money. Giant sat down and then he began to count his money. Giant watched in wonder at all that was happening. Now Jack he was hiding inside the cattle, and then he must have lifted. उसने जो cattle का जो lid है रख कर उसको थोड़ा सा lift किया होगा and then he must he was looking. What was happening? Along, he saw that the giant he was counting the money. That was the gold coin. Hmm. Then the giant asked his wife to fetch his little hen. Then the giant told his wife to go and get my little hen, which laid golden eggs. Ah. Uh, वो जो लिटिल हैं थी वॉट वॉज स्पेशल अबाउट द लिटिल हैंड ऑफ जाइन दैट हैंड यूज टू ले गोल्डन एग्स बेटा गोल्डन एग्स मीन्स सोने के अंडे दैट हैंड यूज टू ले गोल्डन एग्स सो द जाइंट ही टोल्ड हिज वाइफ दैट गो एंड गेट माई लिटिल हैंड एंड वेन द वाइफ शी ब्रॉट द लिटिल हैंड वॉट इज ड्रग सी द हैंड ले Twenty golden eggs. How many golden eggs? Twenty. Us hen ne beta twenty golden eggs leke. After the giant had put the eggs into a basket, he called out, "Wife, bring me the golden lion." After beta, jab giant ne wo eggs jo hen ne how many eggs did the uh, uh, hen lay? The hen laid twenty old golden eggs. So what did the giant do? He picked up those eggs and kept those eggs in the basket. So and then he told his wife that go and bring me the golden lyre. Lyre, that musical instrument which produces very soft music. So he told his wife that go and get my golden lyre. His wife. Brought the golden lyre and placed it on the table. His wife, she went and then she brought the golden lyre and then she placed it on the table. उसको table पे लाके रख दिया. Sing, said the giant. Giant ने lyre से जोर से बोला. Sing. And the lyre at once began to sing the most beautiful songs that ever were heard. And the moment the giant told the lyre to sing, what did the lyre started? He started producing beautiful music, beautiful songs, or itte beautiful songs the ki that have never been heard. Kisi ne itte beautiful songs to beta kabi sunay nahi honge. It sang so sweetly that the giant soon fell fast asleep. At times it happens with us also ki kabi kabi. कोई अच्छा हम सॉन्ग सुनते हैं इट इज वेरी मेलोडियस वॉट है 
सुनते सुनते ही हम सो जाते हैं तो सेम हैपन द लायर प्रोड्यूस ब्यूटीफुल सॉन्ग्स एंड देन द जायंट इमीडिएटली फेल अस्लीप स्वीइंग दैट द जायंट वाज फास्ट अस्लीप जैक क्रैप क्वाइटली आउट ऑफ द कैटल एंड टिप्ड ऑफ टू ऑफ द टेबल जायंट को तो उसकी जायंट जिस टेबल पे बैठा था उसी टेबल पे कैटल में जायंट की वाइफ ने जैक को रखा था छुपाने के लिए एंड द मोमेंट द जायंट स्लेप जैसे ही बेटा जायंट ही वाज फास्ट अस्लीप व्हाट डिड जैक डू he came out of the kettle dheere se jab kettle se bahar nikla and then he crept dheere dheere tip toe without making any noise what did jack do he came out of the kettle and then he tip toe on the table what did he do after coming out of the kettle dheere dheere without making any noise because jack was sleeping there अगर वो नॉइस करता चलने की जान सुन लेता तो जाइन वुड हैव कॉट होल्ड ऑफ हिम एंड वुड हैव इटन हिम देयर ओनली सो विदाउट मेकिंग एनी नॉइस ही क्वाइटली केम आउट ऑफ द कैटल एंड देन ही वॉक ऑन द टेबल व्हाट डिड ही डू ही गैदर्ड द मनी बैग्स द टू मनी बैग्स इन व्हिच द जाइन हैड केप्ट द गोल्डन कॉइंस जिसमें मनी काउंट करके रखा था जैक ने वो दोनों मनी बैग्स को उठाया आर द लिटिल हैंड and the little hand which lay golden egg jack ne usko bhi uthaya he put them into a large bag and jack ne ko jo money bags and golden hand ko ek bag mein dala in the picture also you can see he has kept them in his bag and then he lifted the golden lion usne what did he keep in the bag the money bags and the hen and then what did he do he picked up the golden lion which was on the table at the moment he lifted jaise hi jack ne wo lion ko uthaya the hen called out hen jisko jack ne apne bag mein rakha tha she called out master master han ne kisko master bola giant ko because hen kis ki thi giant ki thi so the hen she Called out, Han ne kisko baat lagai? Giant ko, master, master. At the moment, the hen called out, master, master. What happened? The giant woke up. Giant woke up. Giant ne he opened his eyes just in time to catch sight of Jack running out of the kitchen door with his money and the hen and. What did the giant see? Jack ne jaise hi aankh kholi, what did he see? Ki Jack jo hai kitchen door se he was running. Giant ki nazar Jack pe pad gayi. Jack bas nikalne hi wala tha just in uh, time. Usi time pe. Agar thodi bhi der hoti to giant would have would uh, not have seen Jack. But giant ki nazar Jack pe padi the moment he was running out of the kitchen door holding the uh, money bags hen and the golden lion student that's all for today the rest part of the lesson that is page 54 i'll be explaining in my next video students please do read this lesson in your free time and please start writing the wow words and word meanings in your english notebook that's all for today thank you have a good day ahead